So today I'm going to teach you how to take epic fire videos of your pet loading trust. But there's something holding on in the way of being long gone. So last week, our friend Kate came over with a dog named Willow and they stayed the weekend and we were out and did a few things and it got me thinking about how I take video and photos of animals. Animals are a lot like children, they like to move around and they don't really listen to anything you tell them to do. So it's quite tricky to take photos and video of them. Um, especially if you're trying to capture some image. There's a couple of things I use and a couple of tricks I do to take photos of ladies. One of them is I often use my gimbal and I use the gimbal to stabilize the image and I can also have it move quite fast wherever I need to um, and that really helps to stabilize the image in case it runs away I have to capture that as the shot. And the second thing is when I take a photo, I make sure I have a really fast shutter speed so it gets rid of all the blur and I can capture that nice crisp image of the of lady without having any blur in case she needs. Trying to get a dog to stay still it can be as hard as stopping the sun from coming up but I found that if you want uh, if you're taking pictures of your dog and you want them to sit or stay or be relaxed I recommend maybe taking them for a walk beforehand they're a little bit more likely to do what you tell them obviously treats work well so our dog loves but if we're taking a photo of lady or video, we often bribe her with a um, bit of butter or a favorite toy. She's more likely to do what we tell her. It helps if you have a zoom lens, a lens you can zoom in and out with. You might have a prime lens like a 50 mm like I do because they're often better quality and they look a little bit better but sometimes if you have a zoom range you can zoom in and out quicker and if you don't go to the water focus then it doesn't really matter you should be able to capture that nice image pretty well if you try to get your animal to look down the barrel of the camera it's really good if you can avoid other people need to get a shot of them looking down the barrel. It's a little bit ridiculous, but you can buy GoPro mounts for your dogs. Now I've got one. I haven't really used it. It fell off a little bit. But that can be quite fun to capture some images of your dog running around and you get to see a different point of view as well. So our friend Kate came over with a dog Willow and we went to a place called the entrance down the road and there's pelicans and there's lots of tourists and so it's a big roll of Willow and Lady and I was having a great time at the entrance. <laughs> Leave your shirt on the floor There's no reason to get up There's a print on your cheek from 
for watching I hope you enjoyed this video to give you an update on the video last week I did around Chelsea's friend Elizabeth they were able to raise over ten thousand dollars I think it might be close to fifteen thousand so thank you very much if you were one of the people that clicked on there and donated and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share this video. Bye.